Welcome back to Outdoor Madness, everyone, and our continued coverage of Adventures in Washington State, Part 2. It's time for everyone to dust off those hiking boots because we are hitting the trails. On this episode, we're taking you on three hikes. Snoqualmie Falls, Boulder Cave, and Dickerson Creek Waterfall. The first hike we're going on is one of Washington State's most popular attractions, Snoqualmie Falls. Now I know why 1.5 million people visit Snoqualmie Falls every year. This place is gorgeous. But we're not done yet. Nope. It's time to go for a drive. Our next hike is Boulder Cave. Now Boulder Cave is in the Wanachi National Forest, 
which is a two and a half hour drive from Snoqualmie Falls. But hey, we're on vacation. We have nothing but time. So come on, we're gonna take you guys on a drive. This drive is unbelievable. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Ah, uh, yes. Go ahead. Feel free to clap your hands and move to the beat. By the way, did I tell you that uh, my favorite color is green? <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of it here. Waterfalls? Oh yeah. Everywhere you look, waterfalls. Now here's the thing. When we left Snoqualmie Falls, sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s, we get to the summit in Mount Rainier National Park, and we have snow. Oh, this is so beautiful. Don't you love it? And now we're back to beautiful sunshine, the Wenatchee National Forest, and it's time to hit Boulder Cave Trail. Now I just want to let you guys know, all three of these hikes we're taking you on, anyone in decent shape can do these. Boulder Cave Trail is only 1.5 miles round trip from the parking lot. Now before we go into the cave, there's a waterfall. You can look straight ahead. See that hole? That's where I'm gonna go right now. This is where it gets interesting, guys. Caves this way. But this is something you got to see because there's supposed to be a waterfall in here, from what I heard. And it's a little uh, tricky crossing here, but anybody can do it. So, uh, this is what we do on Outdoor Madness. <laughs> Let's see if we can get across some kind of way here. I think this is probably as close as I'm going to get. Hey, 
And this is about as close as I'm gonna get. Since I don't have any uh, water shoes, but at least you guys get to see what this uh, waterfall looks like. So here's another shot looking out from uh, this waterfall. You can see Karen, she's standing on the trail right there that goes into the cave. So that's where we're going next, right into the cave. We're inside Boulder Cave, taking you guys on another adventure. Boulder Cave in the Wanachi National Forest. A nice, easy hike with lots of beautiful scenery. All right, two down, one to go. Remember, taking you guys on three hikes. So now we're gonna head to Bremerton, Washington, pick up four new members of the posse and hike Dickerson Creek Waterfall. So these kind of ferns too, if you get um, stinging nettles on your hand, um, you can rub the bottom edge of this leaf to help take the sting out. Really? Yeah. Cool. You know, yeah, because um, it's kind of lumpy on the bottom. Yeah. I've seen those before. So, maybe like, after all. The edges, they come up in the early season too. They're, they have like a curly cue. When they're nice and tight, if you clean them off, they fry them up, it tastes like a dragon. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Survivalist. That's good. Uh, yeah, That's good. All right, you guys, so you know how this goes. Anytime we take a trip and we have somebody new with us, they become members of the posse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we always interview them and we ask them what they love about the outdoors. So we're going to get their names first. So we'll start over here. This is Sienna. 
And I'm Shane. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> You're fired. You missed your cue. Carol. Cut. Carol. Carol. You gotta be louder, Carol. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. So right. tell us what you love about the outdoors. Anybody can start whenever they want. I like that. Everything has a purpose. Jehovah gave us this. Is uh, everything? Every plant in here sustains us one way or another. We may not know what that is yet, but everything has. A unique history behind it, and he's leaving it to us to find out, and that to me is exciting. All right. Tell Come out of here. Oh, oh, this is tell us. Yeah. And I plan on <laughs> teaching this one all that stuff. What can be eaten? What is medicinal? What? What's helpful to us, and how? See, that's what you love. You're that's you're what I love. you're starting her the right way, training right. her right. Get used to it, because that's going to be our life. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Next. I like how beautiful it is, and I don't know, it's just relaxing and refresh refreshing, and you can just see how Jehovah intended us to be able to live. All right, good. That's where she gets all her artistic ideas from. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It shows us how beautiful the planet is, what, what it's going to be like in the new system. When Jehovah Chilla. makes the whole planet as beautiful as areas like this, and I look forward to it, and I just love the outdoors. All right, great. She likes everything because it belongs to her, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one more thing we do. This is going to sound weird, but this is what we always do when we interview somebody. Okay. At the end, you have to scream. Scream? As yeah. loud as you can on three. <laughs> All right? Okay. So on three, we're going to scream, right? Scream? Ready to scream? One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Way to go, you guys. So far in our adventure, we've discovered new places like Treehouse Point, Snoqualmie Falls, Boulder Cave, and Dickerson Creek Waterfall. We spent quality time with friends and family right out here in the great outdoors. But I'm happy to say that the adventure it's not over yet. Stay tuned for part three, Adventures in Washington State, coming soon on Outdoor Madness, where we mingle with the big, bad wolf. Hmm. We'll let you decide. Gary Clark for Outdoor Madness. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.